Today, we're upgrading our live streams to test out new gear with AnchorWorks' latest B600 video bar. Let's take a quick look. Welcome to A Game From A Box, this is Sergio AM, and soon we're going to start testing gear like controllers, grips, cases, things like that live on stream so we can hang out with you guys, play some games, share first impressions, and answer your questions. For that, we're going to use a two camera setup, and coincidentally, Anchor sent us their latest Anchor Work B600 video bar, which is actually a great upgrade for this situation. Revealed earlier this year at CES, it's an all-in-one video bar that includes a webcam, light bar, speaker, and microphone to help declutter your workspace. So right off the bat, it's the biggest webcam I've ever seen, but it feels and looks very well designed. On the front, we have that privacy cover, which is also a light. The back is lined in this very nice fabric. And down here, we have a very versatile triple hinged mount, so you can use it on a flat surface, clip to your screen, or you can mount it with the quarter inch thread underneath, which is what we're going with, so we can use it with our quick release system. On the back, we've got two USB-C ports for power and data, which yes, you can use your own cables with as long as they meet the necessary requirements. And there's also an exclusive USB-A port for Anker's wireless headphones. Once hooked up, it's plug and play, so you can just use it right out of the box. But with their software, you can both update the firmware and adjust all its settings. Also on here, we have dual low distortion speakers off the sides that sound pretty good. It feels good in hand. I like the extra spacing at the bottom of the Joy-Cons. They're not very loud, which I believe is intentional to help avoid interference with the microphone, but it's more than enough to listen in on a call with. Then we have the microphone that uses AI noise cancellation to simultaneously amplify your voice with a four mic array while reducing background noise. And on the left here, we have a touch button for mute and unmute. And now I'm switching off to the microphone on the camera. As you can hear, it sounds very clear, but sort of distant. Uh, nowhere near as comparable to something like a professional microphone, but more than enough for something like a video call. Back to the light bar. It also acts as a privacy cover, which actually deactivates the camera when closed. Off the side here, we have a touch button to turn it on and off. The light has nine levels of brightness that you can adjust with the touch bar on the front. And you can also control all of that through the app, including temperature. Finally, we have the camera with automatic options for color balance, temperature, and brightness, which you can also adjust manually via the software. Overall, with some tweaking, we got a pretty clean and sharp image, which of course varies depending on your environment. Because it's a 2K sensor, we can then crop in for framing, and it also includes their solo frame, which focuses on your face to keep you front and center. But we're using it a bit differently. First, we attach it to a boom arm so we can easily reposition it for something like this top view to show whatever we're testing out. Next, under normal lighting conditions in here, it's still not bright enough, which is when the light bar kicks in. Then, if I want to go further, I can mix in the microphone audio for a kind of ASMR setup so you can hear how the buttons, triggers, things like that sound in use. So packaged together, the B600 is a solid all-in-one for video calls, or in our case, live streaming, even though it might be a bit overkill for our specific use. Regardless, that's a quick look at our latest upgrade. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. And if you want to learn more or pick one up yourself, we'll have links down in the description below. Finally, if you want to hang out with us on stream to test out some gear, make sure to subscribe and ding the bell to stay notified for that. We'll also post some dates here on the community tab, as well as on Twitter and Instagram, so follow us there too. Once again, this is Sergio IM. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you for the next box. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to help us out, you can do so by clicking that thumbs up button. And while you're at it, why not subscribe for more content? It's free. We also love to hear you out, so please leave a comment down below or talk with us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Sergio IM, and I'll see you for the next box.